Joining us is Drew Jackson, another one of the players we were just talking about, trying to find a spot here on the opening day roster. 25 year old out of California, played at Tulsa last year. Drew, thanks very much for joining us here. How do you feel? I mean, where do you see yourself right now in the mix heading to opening day? Uh, you know, I feel good uh, just going out there and doing work all spring and pretty much showing what I can do. And uh, that's all I told myself going into the spring. And uh, what happens, happens. But uh, I feel good. Well, Drew, it's Brian Roberts. I'm sure there's a lot of anxiety kind of going into this last week. But uh, where do you feel most comfortable playing on the field? I know you've certainly played a lot of shortstop, but has it been good moving around the field this spring? Yeah, it's been great, um, especially the last couple of weeks, getting more reps in the outfield. Uh, I'd say second base is probably, other than short, the most comfortable, considering I played there mostly last year. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling a lot more comfortable in the outfield. Um, just playing more games out there, that's, that's all you can ask for. Um, just getting more reps, and that's how you get more comfortable. You had a career high in home runs last year playing at Tulsa. Anything particular that you did to do that? Uh, I've been, I was working on a swing change uh, once I got traded over the Dodgers two years ago. I'm um, just using my legs more. Um, and you know, the past couple of years, I've just been trying to polish that a little bit more and, you know, being able to drive the ball and get more out of my body. In the past, I, I never really used my lower half, and uh, now I have a better understanding of how to do that. Drew, can you tell me what's been the best part of this camp so far for you? Uh, I think just being able to play every game. Um, Hyder's put me out there um, pretty much every single game and just uh, being able to compete every day. I can't ask for much more than that. Does it make it even harder? I mean, for one thing, you're trying to make the roster. But if you don't, you end up going back to Philadelphia. I mean, it's like there's a double whammy here if you don't get done what you want to get done. Is that... Does that make it even harder here in spring training for you? Uh, I mean, yeah, going into it, you think it's hard not to think about that. But I told myself, like, come here, do my best every day. And if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But um, I try not to think about it. Um, just try to, you know, put my best foot forward and, you know, go ball out every single day. Certainly you've had a chance to play for numerous managers throughout the minor leagues and stuff. But can you tell me what Brandon Hyde some of his strengths are and what he's brought to this camp, do you think? Uh, he's a great players coach. You know, he's, he's got a lot of feel with us. Um, you know, he has experience over there with the Cubs and a winning culture, and uh, you can already feel that culture growing here. Um, the clubhouse is great. It's very light. Everyone's fun. So, um, so far, it's been a blast. Drew, we really appreciate it. Thank you, and the, and the best of luck on uh, finding that spot on the roster. Thank you, guys. Appreciate right. it. Thank you. Drew Jackson, he came over from Philly. He's one of the Rule 5 players. The Orioles will have to make a decision on. You don't keep him. He goes back to Philadelphia.